There's no denying it. C++ has a lot of operators. Arithmetic operators, including things you may not have heard of or that may not be in other languages you know. Very specialized operators that were originally brought in for performance reasons. And that remain because they are concise and they can express your intention without you having to write a lot. You know, I equals I plus one or I plus plus. When you're working with I, it's kind of the same. But when you're working with long variable names, it's not the same at all. There are some traps waiting for some people. The double ampersand versus single ampersand, people accidentally using bitwise operators when they mean to use Boolean operators. People using Boolean operators and not realizing that they shortcut. And people mixing up the equality comparison operator, two equal signs, with the assignment operator, a single equal sign. A single equal sign is not going to trigger a warning or error message for you. It's often the right thing to do inside an if, but you need to be confident whether you really meant to do it or not. The suite of operators that C++ has lets you write incredibly concise, readable code, and it lowers the burden on developers to remember how to do things or what things are called. And that's especially true when you combine operator overloading. It's simply easier to remember the plus sign than whether something is called add or append or increment. It's easier to remember the less than operator than whether it's called compare. And having less than return true or false is more memorable than having compare return minus one if it's less, zero if they're the same, and plus one if they're greater. Using operator overloading puts a tiny more burden on the developer of a class, and it really is only a tiny more burden. After all, writing a function called ADD or writing a function called operator plus not that different. And yet the user of your class gets the ability to really think of your type, date or string or purchase order or employee, just as a thing, just like an integer or any other fundamental type. I think you've already seen that because string is a class. It's not a fundamental type, but I bet in your head it already feels like it's just a type, the same as integer. And date can be that way too. And if the author of the class puts the work in, so can employee or purchase order or insurance policy or whatever it is your application is all about. Once you get into templates, you'll see even more how this fundamental similarity between, say, an integer and a string, between a floating point number and a purchase order, enables you to write very interesting generic code in a way that can't be done in other languages. For now, understanding the wide variety of operators that C++ offers and how you can be part of it by writing your own overloads of those operators, it's a good addition to your C++ knowledge.